Welcome back. This week, Chester Missing spoke to Trevor Manuel. Let's see what Uncle Trev had to say. I am talking now to previous Minister of Finance, current Minister within the presidency, Struggle Hero, and Jimmy Money, his favorite uncle. It's Trevor Manuel. How's it going, man? Very cool, Chester. How are you doing? I'm well, I'm well. I'm very excited to be talking to you. What's the biggest difference between the ANC of today and the ANC of 15 years ago? I think that the big challenge is uh, we, we tend to become complacent. We've yeah. been doing this yeah. thing for a long time. Because, I mean, it does look like you guys were for change back then and these new guys just want beer, bucks and booty, you know? You know, take it to the candy shop, those guys. I mean, how are you going to create that change in do, the ANC? Do you, do you get in at ZAR? Did you ever get into ZAR? Never. I, I, I'm afraid who I might bump into there, so I don't want to embarrass the rest One of them. One of your own guys. The question I really want to know is, how the hell does Martinez van Skalkweg keep making it into government? You know he's a gnat, right? Um, there are no gnats. There never were gnats. Did the, you ever were never meet? Nets. No, just I know that Luisa Gola once said yeah. that the new mayor of Klokwer voted no in the referendum, but she would deny it. Everybody would deny ever having voted You see, this guy came to Late Night News with his own gags. Are you on Facebook? No. Is there no Facebook in the Planning Commission? Uh, No, there's only Twitter. Do you tweet? No, the problem about tweeting is people lose their minds. There's a particular premier I know. I mean, I I don't want to to (laughs) mention him or her by name, but... They tweet and they call people refugees and oh stuff. Oh my gosh, he's having a Helen Zeller dig. I can't believe, well, he, they, I don't think they've thrown poo at you yet, have they? No. Why haven't you made those money-grabbing, apartheid-collaborating, bastard capitalist companies account for their involvement in apartheid? The TRC didn't, didn't take this issue far enough. Yeah. You need an outside agency because... Uh, uh, some of us were, were too angry at the time. We'd take crazy decisions. That must have been very hard to deal with, your anger and, and tolerating. Some people think you sold out a little bit. I mean, do you think so or not? You know, if we had been able to overthrow the apartheid regime, drive into Pretoria, Church Street on the back of tanks, we would have claimed victory in yeah. a particular way. We didn't Bastards. have it. We negotiated. And so, you know, like any negotiation, I mean, if... if uh, uh, Amku now can negotiate and get a 120% increase in wages. Yeah. Uh, you know, so if they get if they get 100%, are they going to be a, a angry? Would they have sold? I don't out? know. I don't, oh my problem. God! You see how he spun that? This guy's a genius. You should be named Samsung because you like a washing machine. So much <laughs> spin. <laughs> Who are we going to go to if the national development plan doesn't work out? Can we come to you? No, what I don't have is the copyright. We want all South Africans to own it. Let's implement plans. Well, like NDP wants safe, reliable public transport. Will we all be getting access to blue light blue vehicles to pick up our basic income grants? Perhaps then I'll, perhaps then I'll get blue lights. I haven't had them in You've the never 20th. had blue lights? Never. You just do it on your own. What if you get kidnapped? Uh, you might be taken by Swaziland and be forced to marry King Mswati. We don't know. That's a, that's the a worst, worst case kind of scenario. risk. The absolute being, worst case. Being married to King Mswati. But, is what the if worst. you? But I mean, you might be get hijacked by a Khan and be forced to be one of their people. Uh, no, no, never. D- don't you support the Khan? I, I think Mampela Rampela has got some good things she said. I mean, saying good things is easier. How are you going to implement it? But that's why you've got the MPA National Development Plan, isn't it? I, I know that, that, that Mampila will support a lot of the NDP, which is okay. Okay, no, that's fair. I mean, even the DA supports it. That's kind of the problem, isn't it? That, that your, own, your own guys are busy telling you that you've basically just given us the DA in, in black, green, and yellow. You know, just because, just because Helen Zilla and I agree that Luisa Gola has uh, a big eyebrows. It yeah. doesn't make it wrong. Just no, because that's we agree true. Just stuff. because we both agree that the fart smells like a fart doesn't mean it's a bad fart. Absolutely. Okay, fair enough. You and Tabo and Beck have been called to testify at the Arms Deal Commission. Are you nervous? No. There's no wrongdoing. Somebody's got to explain. Yeah. And I think an opportunity to explain how decisions were taken is an important issue. I hope that uh, Terry Crawford Brown will listen this time when we take our time and Doesn't he listen? He doesn't normally listen. He only listens to things in his head. Oh, my gosh. Well, then you must identify with him. You are a cabinet minister. (laughs) Thank you, Trevor Manuel. You're awesome. Thanks for having a sense of humor. Now go get a day job. News that moves. ENCA.com.